Oof, what is up everybody? As y'all can see, man, I got my new loader along with the new forks, man. I am driving in a 2019 John Deere 2544K, y'all. Man, this baby only got 1,900 hours on this damn loader, y'all. Only 1,900. Look how long them damn forks are, man. Them damn things look like a bunch of swords. Oh, man. It makes it so much easier, guys, man, to pick up cars with these long suckers, too, man. I don't have to fight to pick up any damn thing. I mean, I could just pick it up with just ease, man, with just ease. God, man, I'm loving this loader, y'all. I mean, this baby right here has almost everything, man. Almost everything. But you know what my favorite part is about this loader? Whenever I put it in park, and it's sitting in park for less than five or ten minutes, the hydraulics automatically shuts off. Automatically. So I have to come back in, put it in drive, and then, and then press the hydraulic button in order for the hydraulics to be activated again. Man, that's what I love about this one right here, y'all. Man, and I finally and I finally got me the adjustable seat so that I can actually see over the steering wheel now. Boy, I got tired. I, I got tired of man have to have to scoot up in somewhat just in order to really, you know, so just in order for really for me to see the car. You know? Man, this is just, ooh, sweet. Man, y'all, this is, oh boy. See, the one thing about it, I gotta get used, I gotta get used to these long forks, cause they are long, and I'm so used to having them old four foot ass forks. But now, shh, man, I could go all the way in, y'all, and pick up a car. Man, y'all have no idea how stressful it is sometimes not being able to pick up a car or a big size truck. I mean, it is literally a pain in the ass, man. It, it really is. Boy, I, I am really, really loving this one, man. And they just brought it to me today, this morning. Just brought it to me. Because he was like, well, he was like, well, because we, because this morning we had a meeting about some things what had happened because it had a uh, it had a big explosion at the mill. I mean, man, it was a huge explosion, y'all. Not the one towards us, but uh, Gradal. Man, they had a big fire out there, man. And they sent the picture to the boss, man, and they was trying to figure out who did it come from? Where did it come from? Whose load was it? Was it ours? Was it Pax? Was it Rez? Was it Jesse Coutinho? We don't know. That's, that's the thing about it. Man, Ooh, and it makes it so much easier since they so long too also, guys. Man, I could just slice open the gas tank easy, easy, easy. Golly, man. Google GP, he had a few questions. He said, for the most part, the yard, the yard you work out of, you work at, are processing yards and not parts for sale yard. Yes, this is only a crushing yard. There is no parts. The only parts that are being taken off, that is from Mexico to send to Mexico. Those are the only guys who can literally take off parts well, besides us too also when we need it. But 90, but 99% of the time, 99% of the time, these are for straight crush. That's all it is. This, this all these guys do over here. Now, now, uh, now, when we go to other yards, that is different because some yards does both. Some yards have um, a parts yard and a crushing yard at the same place, you know? I mean, but, I mean, if if, if it was a last minute thing and somebody needed a part, I'm pretty sure these guys probably would sell it to them real quick if they could get it out pretty fast. But, like I say, 99% of the time it's just straight crushing here. That's all it is, it's straight crushing. You know, they, like I say, the motors come out. These motors here, they come out. They end up being scrap motors. Uh, the mixed motors, the uh, uh, the aluminum motors, and the solid steel motors. But 99% of the time, we're leaving the solid steel motors 
in the cars because really they're not even worth they're not even worth taking out at all. I mean, it just it is just not, man. It's just not because sometimes that shit could be a real pain in the ass to deal with because steel motors don't sell as much as you know mixed motors and aluminum motors when it comes to scrap. You know, but I mean, man. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's just, it's just part of. It's just part of what it is, man. It's all it is. Just part of what it is. God, Lee. So, I had somebody. I had somebody comment. Uh, her name is Nancy. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. So she said, she said, why crush the Cadillac when you can have more money and parts? Well, you have to realize something too, Nancy. This is my job here to make all these cars disappear, including classic cars. These are not my cars here. These are cars that belongs to the customers. Now, if it was my yard and if I had the Cadillac, then that Cadillac would have been sold whole. I wouldn't have did no parts. I would have sold the whole damn Cadillac. I would have thrown in another motor because that's the only thing that was wrong with it. It had a bad motor. I would have thrown another motor and I would have threw a for sale sign on that baby right there. So it wasn't my choice, my choice for me to crush it. It's just me doing my job. That's all it is to it. I can't tell these guys, no, I won't crush it. I can't do that. You know, I mean, if I could, I would, but I just can't. So basically, I'm, I'm just doing my job. That's all I am doing. I'm not doing no more, no less than what I have to do or what needs to be done for me to get the job done. That's all there is. It's all there is. You know, I mean, it's just, it's part It's part of the crushing game. That's all it is. It's part of the crushing game. You win some, you lose some. You have to deal with it and keep on going with the flow. Can't sit there and boo and cry over spoiled milk. That's not yours. Get what I mean? That's all it is. GPU, I mean, uh, Google GP got another question for me. If you can have any job that you wanted, what job would it be besides being a YouTube sensation? Man, do you know what? To be honest with you, dude, that is a very good question, man. Be honest with you guys, man. I always wanted to be an underwear of the water, man. I mean, uh, uh, underwater welder, saturation dry, uh, saturation diving. That's what I always wanted to do, man. When I was growing up as a kid. That was like that. Oops, that was like the main job I really wanted to do then, back then, of those, you know, back then in my days, because I had a couple of friends, you know, who was doing it then, you know, that was learning everything, they was learning how to weld and learning how to do everything. So I was like, man, I want to take up that trade, you know. And I started doing other stuff, and I started liking the other trades. So I kind of just let that one go right there, and just went to different things because actually before I was actually crushing cars I was um, I was actually mixing PVC glue I was actually making making PVC pipe glue uh, I was making every color you can think of you know I was uh, the cooker I was the maker uh, I would put all the bags of uh, silica and uh, everything together the color I mean I used to do everything I did everything and then after a period of time man I just you know I just got tired of it, you know, I just got tired of doing that there, so I, I wanted to do something, I wanted to do something totally differently, so I end up, I end up from there, I end up doing, uh, I end up doing construction from there, and then after the construction, I actually came until, I actually came into the crushing field, and that started right there, that, that right there started with a, uh, with a bad transmission, that's how, and that's how I got up into the crushing game. From a, just from a bad transmission. That's all it was that somebody sold me. Because that person whoops, that person didn't know what the hell they so-called doing, calling themselves a so-called mechanic. And knew what the hell they was doing. So yeah, man, saturation dry, saturation diving was my main thing. That was the main thing. That would be the job that I ever wanted right there. Because that's some of the that's some of the coolest shit you'll ever do, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, saturation diving is a total different world because you in pitch black darkness doing stuff, you know what I mean? And back then, that type of stuff right there really excited me, you know what I mean? It really excited me, and then 
hearing about it, reading about it, and all kind of other shit, you know. So, yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's I mean, it's other jobs that I still I would take right now, but but I don't think I would change anything from the car crushing. Be honest with you, because it's a lot of people that would love to have this job right here. What I do, they would love to have this job. They would kill to have this job because look at all the cars that I'm crushing. New models, old models, classic cars, you know, cars that are almost just perfect. And I'm crushing the shit out of them, y'all. Like, there ain't nothing to them. This wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's all it is. Man, this is just, this is just unreal, y'all. This is unreal, man. I can tell you right now, only real loader drivers can relate to exactly what I mean about having longer force and to be able to do stuff and reach out for stuff, man. Oof. Violin fan. There you go. Got an XC right there for you. Volvo, baby. Google GP got another one for me. Do you see yourself perhaps managing yards in the future or would you want to continue operating the loader as you do now? Man, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I could do both. I could do both. I could manage the yard and drive a load of both at the same time and still make videos, man. Just because, just because of, just, just because of my knowledge, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not your, I'm not your, like your average person like everybody think, man. It's, it's a lot of things that I do know how to do out here better than some of these guys and what they doing here now. Selling part wise, I'm really good at that. Uh, I mean, there's other things. I'm there's other things that I, I know how to, you know, I, I know how to manage and do, man. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. It really don't at all. Just basic common sense of what you do. That's all it is. Cause if you know what's going to sell and not sell, then you know what to buy and what not to buy. You get what I mean? I mean, it doesn't take it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. And what to sell and what not to sell. You know? I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, I mean, like I say, but on the cool, but on the cool, I'd rather, i rather just stay as a loader driver too also, man, because of all the things that I get to see and do and travel, you know what I mean? I get to travel different places, you know, and stuff like that. So that's a lot of stuff that I love, enjoy doing too also, do a lot of traveling with my job. You know, if you be at a yard, then you can't travel like, like you know, so like I'm traveling, then you know, I mean, I'm little, like I get to travel now. You know, I mean, it's it's a really good feeling, man, to be able to travel to different places and be able to crush different cars. Man, I just gotta get used to these long forks, man. I'm so used to I'm so used to having those short ones where I could pull out from under something that's real easy. But now, whew, I gotta take practice, man, y'all. I gotta take practice, practice. So y'all gonna have to bear with me on some of these, man. When I'm crushing, you're gonna have to, because these forks right here, they are sharp as hell, man. Damn, these damn things are sharp as hell. Hey, I had trouble on the first few cars before I made this video. <laughs> <laughs> I walked up to the car. I got to looking at the car and I was like, man, where the hell am I going to hit these forks at me? Where the hell am I going to hit the doors at? Cause these goddamn things are just sharp as I don't know what. Then the one thing, I, one thing I do love and I do hate about this loader is the loud damn beeping noise in the damn meat back with the back up. Oh my God. I mean, it's loud as hell back there. But you can still hear it inside the loader like it's still loud as hell, man. Jesus Christ, boy. Golly, man. Ooh, ooh. Ah. What I can say to me, y'all, this baby right here, man, she rides pretty damn smooth. Look at that, man. Look how easy it is just to pick that up with no hesitation whatsoever. No hesitation. Don't get no better than that, y'all. No better than that. All right, I'm going to jump around on a few questions right quick. So I got a question from Hot Rod. 
Have you ever found help with hot wheel cars or trucks inside inside the junk vehicles that you get to crush? Yeah, I find them all the damn many time, man. Uh, when I was at the Grand Prairie Pound, when I actually, when I found all that money, uh, me and Tony, the guy who I had, I was working with, he was working with me, we we found this uh, this blazer. And inside this blazer was over a thousand Hot Wheels, y'all. Over a thousand Hot Wheels still in the packages. They were still in the packages. And shit, man, we tried, man, we tried to get as many as we could, man. It was so many of, I mean, Camaros, Carvettes, uh, old school Cadillacs. Uh, I mean, whoops. I mean, just all kind of stuff for them damn me cars, man. All kind of Hot Wheels off in there, man. Um, uh, had some, uh, had some racing ones off in there, some low riders and stuff. I mean, it was all kind, oh, all, all kind, man. I can't even, I can't even name them all, man. By the time I got home and I end up sorting them all out and taking the ones that are out the, uh, burnt packages and stuff, man, I probably had like over, probably had like over probably like three, four hundred Hot Wheels, y'all. I mean, just all kinds, man. Even some of them, even some of them, you could tell they from way back in the damn me days, man, because the way the car was looking. You know, I mean, just all kinds, man. I mean, you always find stuff in these cars. A lot of times, I don't really show it what I find because I'll be like, I'm the type of person, I'll be like, hey, let's get this, let's move, get this move, get this move, get this move, so I'll go ahead and get the load done. You know, I mean, if I had time, if I had time to show both, then, you know, you know I would do it, you know what I mean? But boss man know I'm pretty quick. So you know he end up excuse me, he end up sending me cars pretty fast, man. You know what I mean? So I mean not cars, but he end up sending me trucks pretty fast because you know I'm pretty quick with my crushing. So you know sometimes I do get a chance to show both. Sometimes I don't. Hold on. So I gotta get Mario to jog that down by hand on that one right there. Got to get jogged down by hand because there ain't no other way to jog it down. All right, let me see what I was gonna put up. Oh, I was gonna put up that, that, old, uh, that old junk odor I got sitting up over there. Whew. Yeah, man, now I can actually pick up big trucks, y'all. I can actually pick those babies up now. Man. And then what I like about it too also, I can put my forks all the way through the other side of the car. Oh, y'all, I'm loving this loader, man. I am loving it. Boy, I think this is probably the happiest I ever been, man. Oh, man. I mean, this baby right here, y'all, is smooth right now. I still gotta figure out, I still gotta figure out uh, some few things because this one right here is a newer model, so it has a has a little bit more features to it. But eventually, but eventually uh, I may do a walk around video on it. Probably won't be today, probably be a couple of days from now. So I gotta get used to everything and then that way I can go ahead and make it and show y'all everything what's all on the inside over here. Man, it takes everything, it's totally different. It takes everything different, everything. But it is what it is, baby. Whew. Jimmy Winch Jr., he had a question. When are you going to ever crush another school bus? Man, I have no idea, dude, when I'm going to be able to crush another school bus, man. I have no idea at all, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I guess it all depends on where, you know what I'm saying, where I'm crushing it. I guess I look at it that way. Depends on where I'm crushing at and what I'm crushing. You know, we haven't been, we haven't been to that, to, we haven't been to that one place uh, where I was at last time when I had, when I had the short forks and I was picking up them big old buses and I was just having hell trying to pick those damn things up, man. That was probably the last time I ended up crushing buses. I haven't crushed none in a while, but like I say, man, I sure would love to, man. I sure would love to, especially with the new loader too. Then I could be able to pick those babies up too. Man, man. Boy, that, that shit right there, that'll be, that'll be pretty awesome right there. That would be pretty awesome if I could do that there. But I mean, eventually I will be able to, man, eventually. 
it just it, it just takes a little time that's all it is just just time and patient baby that's all it is time and patient come on now you know the only the only downside to having long forks sometimes guys is that you end up you end up digging into the ground somewhat a little bit See if this baby can go right up off of here with no problemos. Boy, no problemos. Pick it up a little bit. Pick it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, see, earlier, y'all, earlier, I, I had this car off in here. And I wasn't paying attention to how long the forks was. <laughs> I ended up hitting the back of the damn me crush them hard as hell. It was like, boom. I was like, damn. I was like, damn, I forgot. I totally forgot I got these damn six footers. I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, the T-Rexes no more. Oh man, y'all don't know how good it feels to get rid of them sons of bitches. Oh, excuse my language, but y'all y'all gotta realize, man. I'm happy as hell, man. I am happy as hell. Like I said before, only true loader drivers will understand exactly how I feel right now. Only the true ones. Yeah, so right now I gotta let Mario do it by hand. Since there's so many of them, then the last time I did the four, I didn't do it right, and the bundle was a little bit too tall, so I had to come back and recrush it, y'all. Man, I had to come back and recrush that right there. Boy. Golly. Man, and then, man, what I love about it is that. Trino, man, he did some hell of fine welding on this forge, y'all. Man, he did some hell of fine welding. Look at that, man. Look at that. Pick that bundle up with ease, y'all. With ease, man. But y'all know what? That's gonna be the end of this story right here, guys. So I got, I got, I got a truck coming, and I gotta get this loaded up real quick. So I'm gonna have to catch back with y'all tomorrow, man. Y'all stay up, and I stay up. Peace, I'm out.